नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लिविंग इकोनॉमिक्स टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट फाइंडिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरमीडिएट गुड्स एंड फाइनल गुड्स दीज गुड्स आर बीन यूज टू कैलकुलेट जी जी पी सो वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस लेट्स फाइंड आउट दिस इज द रीजन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरमीडिएट गुड्स एंड फाइनल गुड्स अदरवाइज डबल काउंटिंग ऑफ द गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज मे मिसलीड द इकॉनमी जी डी पी इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इंडिकेटर एवी एंड वी कैनॉट अफोर्ड टू डू इट मैनी स्टूडेंट्स गेट फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट विल बी कॉल्ड एज इंटरमीडिएट गुड्स एंड वॉट विल बी कॉल्ड एज फाइनल गुड्स ओके सो लेट फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरमीडिएट गुड्स एंड फाइनल गुड्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज दैट देर इज वन पर्सन इन दैट इकॉनमी एंड दैट इज मी एंड देर आर थ्री गुड्स विच इज बीन प्रोड्यूसड इन द इकॉनमी वन इज अ पेंट ब्रश विच इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज अनदर इज पेंट विच इज अगेन ट्वेंटी रुपीज and the drawing notebook which is 60 rupees let us find out when these three goods will be called as intermediate goods and when these three goods will be called as final goods and what should be the gdp of the country when these goods are called as intermediate goods and what should be the gdp of the country when these goods are called as or or used as final goods means final consumption so let us first take the example that i am buying these three goods for my hobby and i want to paint a uh, scenery and i want to put that scenery over here on my wall right so let me paint a scenery okay my scenery is ready and it is very beautiful you can see now what i am going to do is i am going to post this scenery to to uh, use this scenery as a poster as a wall poster uh, on my wall now this is the final consumption the final consumption of paint brush the final consumption of paint and the chart or the notebook so the total gdp of that country should be 20 rupees plus 20 rupees plus 60 rupees which is 100 rupees right and these goods are called as final goods and services because these goods are used for final consumption the 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 painting which i have painted the scenery which i have painted is used in my home only and i have not sold it out okay another circumstance let's assume that i am a painter when i am a painter and my uh, business is to paint and sell my sceneries or my paintings in the market i have again bought these goods 20 rupees 20 rupees and 60 rupees for this notebook when i paint this scenery i use my labor as well which will be called effort as well which will be called as labor and my talent maybe or skill which will be called as human capital so total value of human capital and labor which i have used over here i consider as 20 rupees now see what i'm going to do with this painting so the total value of this painting now in the market is rupees 120 i have put my scenery my painting on sale for rupees 120 now what should be the gdp of the country in this case the gdp of the country should be the total value of that painting which is 120 why we are not adding these uh, the value of these goods because the the value of these goods are already added in the painting i have bought these goods in 100 rupees i added my labor plus my human capital which is equal to 20 rupees and the total value of that good becomes 120 rupees right now will these be will uh, i mean do you think these goods will be called as final goods no now these goods are called as intermediate goods because these goods are used to produce something else which can be sold in the market these goods are used to produce scenery which was or which is on sale for rupees 120 if we don't categorize between intermediate goods and final good what will happen we will add 20 plus 20 40 plus 60 100 plus 120 which becomes 220 a clear cut inaccurate double counting and a misleading gdp for the economy since 
GDP is an economic uh, is an important economic indicator. We have to be very careful while finding out what is intermediate good and what is final good. So when I when I use this scenery and put it on my wall, these goods were called as final goods. When I used my these goods to paint and sell my scenery in the market, these goods are called as intermediate goods. So we add the value of all final goods and services produced in a given period of time within the boundary, which is the definition of GDP. So when I'm not selling it out, the total value of the GDP is the total value of these things, which is 100 rupees. And my labor will not be counted as GDP because that is I have used for my own purpose, for my own sake, which is sometimes called as, you know, why GDP may be inaccurate and not a correct measure of uh, the production of the economy or the wealth of the economy. That part I'll take some some day, some other day, right? So, but when I sold this scenery in a, I have sold this scenery in the market, the total GDP of the economy should be calculated as per the value of the scenery only, which is 120 rupees. I hope you have understood this well. Oh, uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much. See you later. Hey, I have one question and a doubt. You know, making these videos, putting it in a YouTube for free. Will these videos be called as intermediate services or final services? Find out and let me know.